Startup incubators and accelerators are two types of programs that support new companies in their early stages of product development. And they do this through mentoring, networking, providing resources, and funding. In this video, we're gonna explore the differences between hardware incubators and hardware accelerators and look at their pros and cons. So what is a startup incubator? Well, an incubator provides support in the very early stages of a startup, and they are designed for those in the beginning stages of product development or even for those that have only a product idea. Typical perks that they offer include mentoring, legal and tax help, co-working co spaces, pitch practicing, and funding opportunities. Founders are expected to participate in the incubator program for usually at least a few months, although most last for a year or more. Being in an incubator program is a lot like going to college. There is a lengthy application process. You must meet very specific application criteria. And if accepted, you will need to relocate for a considerable amount of time. Incubator programs want to help founders develop a solid product idea and a business model. An incubator program wants to help new businesses be profitable and successful. They also help startups to network with funding sources like angel investors, for example. Incubator programs are run by a whole bunch of different organizations, including nonprofits and universities, as well as corporations, local development organizations, and venture capital firms. Although some incub incubators may invest in your product, most incubators do not directly invest, and instead they will introduce you to other potential investors. Either way, many will require equity in your company in exchange for the help and resources they are providing you. Most incubators continue to support their graduates in various ways. One of the most well-known programs is Y Combinator, for example, and they offer free office space in San Francisco to all of their graduates even after they leave the incubator program. They have an online platform just for graduates to connect with one another after the program ends. Startup accelerators provide similar mentorship and business support as incubators, but they target startups that are usually further along in the product development process. Before applying to an accelerator, you should have a working business plan, a minimum viable product, and some customers. Although accelerators offer a lot of the same benefits as incubators, the big difference is they are focused on helping you scale your startup instead of just helping you get started. An accelerator provides you with resources and investments that are required to grow a startup, all in exchange for a sizable amount of equity in your young company. The line between incubators and accelerators can become rather blurred, but in general, accelerators are for further along businesses who already have generated some sales and need to ramp up production and scale their business. Accelerator programs are usually much shorter in duration than startup incubators, and three to six months is typical for an accelerator program. They commonly offer a seed investment in exchange for equity stakes in your company. Accelerator funding is more likely to come from private organizations. So which one is right for you? Well, accelerators and incubators target entrepreneurs in different stages of their business development. Here are a few questions to ask yourself when deciding if you should apply for an accelerator or an incubator program. Are you still refining your actual product idea? If so, then go with an incubator. Do you already have an MV, a minimum viable product? If so, then you are probably far enough along to apply for an accelerator program, which is ideal for existing companies already poised for growth. What are your funding needs? If you are ready for capital investment, then you should go for an accelerator. It's common practice for accelerators to provide seed investments in exchange for equity in your company. Do you need money and support to get your business off the ground? If so, then go with an incubator program. What's the timeline of your business? Are you looking for long-term support of one to two years to get your startup running properly? Well, in that case, then you should seek out an incubator program. Are you already running a functioning business but need help scaling up? In that case, then definitely apply for an accelerator program. You want to thoroughly research any programs that you apply to. 
Picking an incubator or an accelerator is a big decision since you will be devoting a lot of time and business equity in exchange for the expertise and resources they provide. Start off by listing all the benefits of each program. Do their resources match your needs? Do the advisors or their mentors have experience in your type of business? This is especially true for hardware startups, which require very specialized knowledge. What does the curriculum or the weekly schedule look like? Are you able to meet the in-person training requirements for the program? Can you manage the daily operations of your company alongside the daily obligations of a startup program? Be sure that any program you apply for has experience in your specific industry. Obviously, as a hardware startup, you won't want to apply to an incubator that specializes in restaurant concepts, for example, but you might be considering tech-related programs where you should absolutely check to see how many successful hardware startups they have launched. If a particular program has only funded software platforms and never hardware, then you should keep looking for a better fit. Keep in mind there are vast differences between a software and a hardware company. A company building a software app doesn't have to deal with producing much of anything physically. If your business includes hardware, you need to make sure that your mentoring team has experience outside of the digital software world. Some popular programs like Y Combinator accept pitches from every type of business imaginable. These accelerators have more applicants and more competition. Other pop, really popular programs include Techstars and 500 Startups. You may have better chances applying for programs that only fund hardware startups like your own. One popular option is Hacks, which is a hardware incubator based in Shenzhen, China. However, relocating to China is not a feasible option for most startup founders. Unfortunately, there are very few programs available anywhere specifically for hardware startups. Accelerator and incubator programs are looking for innovative thinkers who can clearly communicate their product idea and describe the problem that it solves. So be straightforward and clear when describing your product. Most programs are just as interested in the founder as, or the founding team as they are in the product idea itself. Of its application process, Y Combinator says, quote, we're not looking for the sort of obedient, middle-of-the-road people that big companies tend to hire. But instead, we're looking for people who like to beat the system, which is why they ask all applicants this wildcard question. And that question is, Please tell us about the time you most successfully hacked some system, non-computer system, to your advantages. Of course, the entry requirements for an accelerator are far more stringent than an incubator since you must show them you already have considerable traction with customers. Most incubators and nearly all accelerators take an equity stake in your business in exchange for all of the, their offered benefits. That's how they make money. They invest up front in promising business ideas with the hope of a good return on their investment. The exceptions are incubator programs offered by nonprofit organizations such as universities and government agencies. The starting point when participating in almost any incubator or accelerator involves giving away equity in your company. Giving away equity is something that most founders avoid at all costs. However, always remember it's better to have a small piece of a big pie than no pie at all. That being said, I encourage you to get as far as you can and get as much traction as possible before you consider giving out equity in your company. If funding is your only goal, then there are also various types of funding available that do not require giving away equity. Some of these no equity funding options include manufacturer financing, purchase order financing, and invoice factoring. Also, although the mentoring and networking aspects of an incubator or accelerator program can be extremely helpful, there are plenty of ways to get this expert mentoring that don't require giving away part of your company. Competition among applicants is fierce for incubators and accelerator programs. Most programs will require you to submit a very detailed business plan. With most programs, you need to stay or relocate to the city that is offering the program. If you apply in a city like San Francisco, a free office space is great, but can you afford that area's residential rent? You need to commit for a year or more for most incubator programs. 
The program will also have a strict schedule with trainings and other commitments that you need to meet. Ask yourself if you have a year to devote to growing your business in this very specific way and very specific environment. For most entrepreneurs, due to work and family requirements, it simply is not possible to relocate to another city for such a long period of time. Being in an incubator or accelerator program is kind of like having a boss who is there to help you become successful. If you participate in one, you will be held accountable by someone other than yourself. The program is investing in your success, but that comes with expectations for your time and work. You need to honestly assess if this is the best work environment for you specifically. Some people thrive under close supervision or with a Monday through Friday work schedule. Others do best when working on their own free time without the constraints of an office setting and regular meetings, trainings, or mentorship sessions. Be honest with yourself when assessing your preferred and most beneficial work environment. If you are self-motivated and are the type of person who can figure out how to accomplish most tasks without someone watching over you, then you may not need an incubator program. Some people might feel downright distracted by having regular meetings, working dinners, meetups, and deadlines imposed on participants in these programs. An accelerator program is different because they focus on helping you scale, and a big part of that is getting equity funding from professional investors. Where you live and where a program is located is a big factor in deciding where to apply. Remember, being in a program like this is, is like going to college. You, you're gonna have in-person weekly, if not daily, schedule that you need to adhere to. For many entrepreneurs, relocating is simply out of the question. If you don't live in a city with a hardware incubator or accelerator program, and you are not able to relocate temporarily, then your options are gonna be a lot more limited. For example, if you have school-aged kids, a full-time job, and don't live anywhere near a city with an incubator program, then don't waste your time applying for a program that you can never realistically attend. Traditional incubator and accelerator programs are definitely more appealing for young entrepreneurs who can easily decamp to a new city and spend all their free time building their business and networking with like-minded individuals while living out of their car. If expert mentoring, networking, and resources that you get inside an incubator program sounds appealing, but you have no realistic way to participate in person, then you should really consider joining my Hardware Academy program, which is really a virtual incubator program. You get most of the benefits of a hardware incubator without the need to relocate or give away equity in your startup.